Welcome back to Britannia FC. This week we've got no league game, so we've got ourselves a friendly with Telford Scaffolding Services FC. They're a new team looking to join the league next year, so we're not sure about them, not got much info who plays for them, so we'll just have to see how we go. So here's the league table going into today's game. Obviously whatever happens here today won't affect it because we're playing a friendly and not in the league. But just to give you an idea where we're sitting, today gives the other teams a good opportunity to catch up. As you can see, Britannia have played the most. And of course, the Kings Arms and Duncow, who if they do both win today, will push Britannia down to fourth place. Okay. Wagstaff. Hi. <laughs> so let's take a look at today's team. We've got Lucas in the sticks. We've got Harry, Frisk, Scott and Wagstaff Hi. at the back. We've got Alex and Spence just in front. We've got Sean on the left, Rudge on the right. Michael Smith returning as captain in the middle and Spice up top on his own. Today's subs are Jake Nichols, Dan James, Joe Crackles, new lad AD Edwards and Rhys Evans. So we've got no Chris Leith today due to other commitments, so we've got Lucas Frank stepping up in goal. Hopefully he'll be better today than that just there. Here we are then boys. Come on Britannia, let's do this. And we're off. So we start off in the third minute with the goal kick being head up towards Andy Spice. Looks as if the defenders get into that one, but he just misreads it, putting Spice through on goal, who's just clattered by the keeper, and that's a goal kick. So Harrison plays a ball up into the box towards Charlie Rudge, who just misses the header as it's won by the defender. Knocked out to Michael Smith, who fancies it, and that's just wide. So Lucas plays another Britannia goal kick into the opposition's half. Knocked on by the defender and then by the midfielder, trying to get the ball out there. Comes back in and it's played out to Sean Connaughton with a beautiful little touch there. Naughty that, mate. Harrison there having a look up, sees the option for Spice, plays that one. It's just a bit close to the keeper, he gets his hand, Spice knocks it out, but he keeps that one over the line. Unlucky boys. So Britannia with a free kick, Harrison decides to take that one quickly, but no one appears to be paying any attention and the ball's just lifted up and over the keeper, and that's 1-0 TSS. Unlucky boys. Got to admit though, cracky finish that. Now to see if we can get on the score sheet. Scott Shaw with a monster of a throw that you think is a corner. Ball comes in, keeper punches that one away, nice and easy. Not really much of an attacking threat there though, boys. Come on. Into the 37th minute now, Britannia free kick in a dangerous area. Andy Spice to take and that one's just over the bar. Unlucky, mate. So a fair bit of extra time has been played in the first half here. Britannia free kick looking to get the ball into the box, what options we can create. Ball comes in, Reece really somehow wins the header and that's an easy catch for the keeper. And that takes us into half time. So the half time score is Britannia FC 0, Telford Scofford in Services FC 1. And it appears we've got some yoga going on on the sidelines here today, which Joe seems to be enjoying. Not sure what that position is, but we'll have a Google and I'll get back to you on that one. So you've got the team talking full swing here. You've got the lads in the background playing with the boots. Everyone listening, apart from Alex, who appears to be trying his new hobby of yoga. I could confirm that is the cobra pose. I wasn't actually aware Alex was a big fan of yoga, but hey, you learn something new every day, don't you? New lad AD seems very nervous to get in on the team talk. And in the background here, we seem to catch, well, have a look at our referee here. Scrolling on his phone, or is he swiping right on Tinder? I'll let you guys decide. Now it appears Alex's half-time yoga wasn't as good as he thought, because he's done himself a lower back injury. Well done, mate. Stinker, mate. Stinker. Now I'll tell you one thing about Michael Smith, our captain. He can't resist a camera. Yes, Harrison, we get it. You're injured. It appears this half-time yoga's catching on. Look, it's a two-man job now. I'm not sure. What's going on here then, boys? Bit of team bondage. That leads us into the second half. And we're off. So we return in the 58th minute with a Britannia goal kick being played up towards Dan James, who can't touch that down whatsoever. Plays into the path of Joe, crackles, he's got his head up, plays in Dan, who looks like he's going to have a shot and then does whatever that was. Harrison will not be impressed. So we're stepping up for a Britannia free kick to be taken by Scott Shaw here. That one's played into the box, knocked on by Alex Twist, right to the feet of Sean Connaughton. What can he do with it here? Knocks it around the keeper and the defenders hit it in. That's one all boys. So we'll take another look at that. Ball comes to the feet of Sean Connaughton who has an awful touch which we will assume he meant. Knocks it past the keeper and number two with his right shoulder and knocks that one in. That's one all boys. We're back in this. So we return with another Britannia goal kick. This one's taken pretty quickly. Looking to be head back by the defender who misses it. Dan and Sean are running here look, trying to get the possession. Defender wins that. Knocks it out towards the corner flag. Looking to play out now. Sean gets a touch. Defender plays that back into the path of Dan. No idea why. Turns the defender. Plays it spice. He's got an open goal. Doesn't hit it first time, lets it bounce, and then, oh my god, how on earth has he missed that? 
So we're back in the 73rd minute, our opponent's looking to play forward. Bull spilled out to Wagstaff, who has a look up, fancies it and plays that one across to Dan. He's flagged as offside, but the ref doesn't give it, takes a touch, follies that one up and over the keeper. T1 Britannia, come on boys. Whatever happened to playing to the whistle? They've all just stopped. So we'll take another look at that. Ball's played into Dan, who shoulders that one back up into the air. Takes another touch this time with his left knee, putting that one back up, setting himself up. And then he bangs this one up and over the keeper with his right foot. What a goal, even if everyone else did think it was offside. So we return with the ball in our own half, looking to play forward. Ball's knocked up to Andy Spice, knocks that one on with his head. He's got a defender running in there, gets around in the first time. He's tripped or slipped there, not sure which. He's tussling all the way, beats his man, pings that one and that's off the bar. Unlucky mate. So the ref's awarded a penalty to our opponents. We can't quite see what happened, so we'll just cut to this. Penalty's taken, he goes bottom right, keeper goes the other way. Unlucky boys, that's two all. So we return in the 98th minute with what I can only assume was a shot. That's been sent to the shop, so that's got to be it, ref. And there it is. So the final score is Britannia FC 2, Telford Scafford in Services FC 2. And here comes the updated league table after today's gains. Obviously our result won't affect it as we're playing in a friendly, but we get to see how everyone else got on and how it's changed. As you can see, Britannia FC have now dropped into third place as Dunkow secured another win to put them on 38 points. Hop and Vine have also excelled their lead at the top yet again and have now put them in an unreachable position for us. On Sunday, we are playing in our highly anticipated cup semi-final against Dunkow FC. That one will be at Phoenix 3G and is the first semi-final Britannia FC will have been in in their three seasons running. Any support would be much appreciated. Yeah. 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 Jack underscore Frisk Instagram, yeah, subscribe. How did you make it today's game then, Frisk? Uh, I thought we did it right, to be fair. Um, considering the friendly, you know, against Saturday things and stuff like that. And those former rules today in there, I thought we played really well, to be fair. But I think them lot, that's ring rust. Played that's good, taking us into the semi final, eh, mate? Yeah, Looking forward to Sunday? Confident, mate. Confident. Confident, that's what we're doing. We've beat them before, can't beat them again. They have got a few better players from the last time we've beaten We drew 1 1 with them in a tough match, but I think. On, on paper, see you. Thank you very much. Cheers, Pop. <laughs> Don't forget if you've enjoyed today's video to like, share and subscribe and make sure you follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram at BritanniaFC16 for all up-to-date content.